G. 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 Hello guys, you're welcome to another edition of Idiot Club Tutorial Today, this afternoon I'm going to explain how to create Cora State College, I mean Cora State Polytechnic logo on a very simple and straightforward method. Okay, so please listen attentively. I mean, I want you to follow my steps one by one. First thing you're going to do is to draw a circle. So, but one drawing is circle, I would like to hold down control, press control key. Okay, to make a perfect circle. Okay, after that, um, I'm going to this a little bit. So now you're going to copy this circle, control C, then paste it. You see, I'm having two circles on, on the page. So now you have to press shift, hold down shift key and drag inward. You have to drag inward like this. Okay. So now what else I'm going to do now? I'm going to use the the trim tool. So now I'm going to trim this trim. This. So now I'll make this shape after that I'm going to draw a rectangle here and I'm going to cut this out okay so now I'm going to trim this also with this so now we select this all together like this the tree Okay, now, no more interesting with this. Okay, so now I'm going to take this back. You're going to carry the circle back. So now, what is I'm going to draw? I'm going to use the polygon tool now to create the gear. The gear on the logo, if you can see the logo, you look throughout the logo very well. There's some jar. So I'm going to use the a method with the polygon tool so now if you count the gear it has 11 side throughout so now you're going to press your control down to create a perfect polygon shape so now okay drag to the center so after that you're going to select your shape tool so you're going to see the how I'm going to draw the the gear now. So now you're going to click on this place. Click on this place. Um, extend this somewhere here. So you're now going to add knot to this side. Increase it upward. To add another one here. This thing going to increase it upward. Then delete this. We are going to drag this um, out here. Okay, you can see now I have automatically created the gear easily, very very easy. So now you're going to now what is I'm going to do now is to copy this circle, copy the circle and paste it here. Then reduce the size inward. Okay, reduce it a little bit. Think it okay like this. So now after that, I'm going to create a a Y shape. Very very easy to create that. Just going to draw your your using your rectangle tool. Drag the rectangle tool here. Then double it so after doubling the rectangle you're going to rotate it like this so now you ensure you ensure that you are at the point I mean at the at the top of this then you double this again control D double then you mirror you are going to use the mirror tool here you're going to mirror horizontal, mirror the text 
horizontal i mean the object horizontal so now after you're done with this you select all the three objects all the three rectangles then you're going to wait okay now see i'm done with that so what else you going to do you're going to power clip this inside yes so cool now that's very good where is the now is to draw the book because I got I want to finish with all the diagram inside before typing the text so now to draw the book it's just very easy just draw a rectangle shape like this your rectangle and wow. convert it to curve convert it to curve after converting it to curve select your shape tool just click on this shape convert the line to curve after converting the line to curve just drag upward a little bit a little bit just a little bit so after that drop the tool back zoom inward somehow so now you're going to double this then flip it okay all the same you flip it and you leave it like that so now so now i'm done with the ah the diagram and this logo so what is now is you're going to type your text how are you going to type your text is to just a simple method to type your text is just to click on your text tool and get it to the line you know this diagram in your, it's showing that your text is following the path, it's following the circle. So anything you type now will not follow the circle. So what you're going to type is well, uh, it. You type that separate and drag it. You're going to drag it with this point. With this point, use your mouse to drag it. Okay. So what you're going to type for the second time is or as the bully technique wow, that's good so what is going to happen here you know, this polytechnic is going to be somewhere around here you can see there's something wrong with this polytechnic it has to it is somehow upside down so what are you going to do is if you look on your property bar you're going to see mirror text so you're going to click on mirror horizontally and they're all the same you're going to mirror vertically so now you're going to you see now our text is now okay so i would like you to change the font to area black so that to for the text to look good or i mean it's, it's area black okay like that okay Increase the size. Well, let's see if okay. I think the red black is somehow boot. You can change the font to area boot. So you can use boot. Okay. So if you can look at the polytechnic, you can see the fonts are very very close to each other. So what you're going to do is that you are going to increase the lines, I mean the spacing between the text. If you can see this T is touching E. So what you're going to do is to increase the spacing between each text. So to do that you use the click and shift tool and click on this. So just drag it outside a little bit. You can see now I'm now I've given the the text uh, kind of spacing between each each text. Okay. So after that, now I'm to apply the color. So now here, yeah, I think you can see we have green here. So our black outline maybe three points. Okay, it's okay like that. So now this place I'm having black. Mm -hmm. This one I'm having green. Green. Wow. This one I'm having white white 
please don't have him okay you know i've already power clip this y logo so now edit content so now this one is black finish editing objects so now increase this outline to three point also this three point so don't forget we have another circle here so the circle containing our text so once you click on the circle it's going to show your text you know our text are laying on the circle we use the circle to type our text so if you want to change any property on it you're going to click second time before it first click of the circle is going to show the text property but the second click show the the object property so now i'm going to give this a three points so wow it's very very fantastic very very beautiful so in a short short method i mean a very very simple method to create the quality polytechnic logo with core draw x4 so don't forget to check and check back i'm at ajetgraphic.com we are here for you unlimited graphic tutorial i gave you at at ajetgraphic.com so bye bye once again we are welcome to see you once again bye bye, 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 bye. For instance, say I be the one where them give chance. Say I be the one where they make plans. For all man to benefit, I be to make me disagree, to agree, to create.